This is the last appearance of Saul Goodman in Breaking Bad. This episode is the only time in the whole series where the full theme tune is played. The outdoor mountain scenes that take place in New Hampshire, were actually filmed in the Sandia Mountains in New Mexico. When Saul gets his photo taken in the vacuum shop, the image that is applied to his driver's license is not the one taken seconds earlier. Robert Forster's character is never named in the episode. Various materials reference him as, the extractor, or, the disappearer. The name Ed is found in the plot synopsis for the episode on AMC's official Breaking Bad website, Vince Gilligan had difficulty figuring out how to get Walter White out of hiding until Kevin Cordesco, suggested that he reintroduce Gretchen and Elliot Schwartz, and for them to claim that White had nothing to do with the creation of grey matter technologies. Cordesco died before getting to watch the episode and the finale. Gilligan even offered to reveal to him how the show would end, but, he refused saying, no spoilers man, through the show, Jesse has had two girlfriends whose deaths Walter is indirectly responsible for. When he went to Jesse's house in season 2, he knocked Jane onto her back while trying to wake up Jesse, causing her to choke on her own vomit, which he let happen. In season 5, while looking for Jesse, he goes to Andrea's house while Jack's crew watch him from afar. This is what made Jack's crew realize that Andrea and her son Brock can be used as leverage over Jesse. During the interview with Gretchen and Elliot regarding their Nobel Prize, Charlie Rose mentions a column written by New York Times columnist Andrew Ross Sorkin. This column condemns the Schwartz's charity for New Mexico drug abuse victims, as an attempt to whitewash the recent news that Walter White was the co-founder of Grey Matter Technologies. They tell Rose that the only thing White had to do with Grey Matter Technologies was naming it. In real life, this column was actually written, and an excerpt appears on the actual New York Times website.